Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. In today's video, we will discuss Adam Aaron's discovery of the truth about FETs, how primates are winning, the price increasing to $79 per share after the settlement, and possibly even higher, as well as other topics. Ensure that you watch until the very end. Now, keep away. Let us examine this particular article. So we have a breach Adam Aaron recently stated the following about AMC FETs. I must be cautious. I must be extremely cautious with my words. We have attained the highest levels. We've traveled to Feinra, our highest level. We cannot divulge what we have learned from Adam Aaron. Now, he has stated this in his earnings calls, which you can easily locate and verify for yourselves. However, this is essentially what he has said. Obviously, what we are discussing here pertains to FEDs. Given that we approach the NYSEs, FINRA is something that we must approach, and he has completed both of these FEDs, which retail investors have been adding Adam Aaron to discuss for a very long time in order for him to evidently go expose more of it. Again, it appears that he has discovered something that is potentially very, very large, very, very large. However, he is not permitted to disclose this information, most likely due to Fine Ra or NYSAZ's instructions. The corruptions behind FETs in terms of what they can do, offshore FETs, and how they can continuously use it. The borrowed shares to then borrow more shares to cover the preceding FETs, etc., have already been uncovered on this channel, as is evident and so on. Moreover, the currently available FETs are already on day 33. Therefore, six days remain until day 39. Again, this is an issue that must be addressed because we know that after 30 or 13 days of FETs, it must be resolved. Yet it has carried on to the point where 32 and 39 are now potential days. Consequently, we must fully comprehend what is occurring right now. And Adam Aaron has information on this which I believe he can leverage for our future use, despite the fact that he is not permitted to reveal it at the moment. In terms of discussing FITS issues, I believe they will soon become extremely, extremely significant, particularly in light of the current situation. Now, we will discuss retail was correct and apes are winners from user of intellect. If you've been riding the ANC train for some time, this chart in the recent event, including earnings, should only mean one thing to you. We are winning the positive EPS and the fact that AMC is turning a profit and breaking records, along with a notable 32% self-reported short interest, along with the concerted efforts of numerous market participants to synchronize 200 EMA breakouts in mid and small cap sectors could lead to a significant short squeeze across the market, led by the most shorted stocks AMC and GME. Both Franco and Amara have played 208 games historically before plummeting with the rest of the IWM short squeeze candidate, who is not bearish on his own company. He plays by the market's norms and with his wealthy allies. Stability and naturalism ascend above 200. EMA is the finest receipt for an infinity squeeze, meticulously recording each action and providing updates. Therefore, user Ventilate has been someone who has provided behind the scenes information analysis, and diligence of the highest quality. And this is clearly what we discussed. In addition to the self-reported short interest, we already know that AMC is doing exceptionally well based on its positive EPS. Again, we must keep in mind that this is only self-reported data, and as I have mentioned multiple times on this channel, it is highly likely that they are given the lowest possible number of 32% because they could be short 50%. However, if they are using offshore firms and do not wish to disclose this fact, they can self-report that the percentage is only 32%, where in actuality is 50%, 60%, 70%, or even 80%. Again, this is why self-reported is currently the minimum. And the fact that the minimum is still as high as 32% should indicate, you know, how well we're doing and why we're prevailing as apes. Now, we will discuss AMC reaching $79 per share or even higher. The last time AMC issued shares, in May and June of 2021, the stock rose from $10 per share to $79 per share in intraday trading over the course of several days, as described in The Butcher of Wall Street. Time. To destroy the short, I stand with CEO Adam, where it states that thanks to funds raised in May and June, AMC ended the June 30. 
2020 quarter with more than $2 billion of liquidity cash in the bank or undrawn revolving credit line, approximately double the highest quarter-ending liquidity level AMC has ever had in our 101-year history. Clearly, this is referring to the June 30th deposit of funds raised in May and June. Now we must keep in mind that they concluded the quarter with more than $2 billion of liquidity and were able to increase their share price from $10 to $79 per share. Now, we must realize that based on the current settlement, it is estimated that we can raise up to $16 billion. They will end up with more than $16 billion in liquidity, which is eight times greater than the $2 billion in liquidity they currently possess. Moreover, even if they contributed $4 billion to the debt, they would still be left with $12 billion, which is six times greater. Consequently, if we take into account the fact that AMC's price rose from $10 to $79 with only $2 billion in cash, then we can calculate how much further we can go with six times and eight times more liquidity. It is not as simple as multiplying 79 times or, in this instance, multiplying $80 by 5, $80 by 6, and $80 by 8. Nevertheless, I believe that if we did it that way, we would be looking at 80 times 6. We may be looking at 8 times 8, or $640. But if we don't understand the bullish sentiment that can be raised with a 12 or 16 billion raise, we could easily see AMC go well above $300 just with the money itself raised and not talk about covering debt, not talk about new investments, and not talk about, you know, more investors piling onto AMC now. If we examine this particular scenario, which is the implicit and AMC's current OBV is $12 billion, we are essentially looking at the implicit value and where it was during the run-up to $72 per share. The OV remains relatively constant or near the zenith. Again, referring to what was stated previously, AMC could have reached $79 per share with $2 billion in funds raised alone. People who purchased AMC shares for $79 $50, $40, $30, and up to $79 have never left the company, or at least the majority of them have never departed. As a result, when the true value of AMC is eventually revealed, everyone will inevitably purchase shares. And Entertainment published its key 2 2023 financial results on June 30. Significant revenue growth enabled AMC to generate positive cash earnings of $0.01 cent per share surpassing the full cost of $0.04 per share. Of particular note are the concession sales, which have a higher margin than ticket sales. In terms of the core, now that the day of reckoning is approaching, it is hoped that Chancellor Zen will perform a miracle, but this appears to be a hope with a 53-day maximum lifespan. As we observe naturally, an increasing number of individuals want Chancellor Zen to make a decision. The likelihood that we will achieve our desired outcome is currently extremely high. Therefore, why is there a desire to discuss the brief miracle? Because they have done everything in their power and everything they could to achieve their desired outcome. It appears that we will instead obtain the outcome that we desired. And once that occurs, we will be in an extremely advantageous position, and the shorts will of course begin to fade out. And thank you for watching the video. I'll follow up with you all next time.